Good afternoon mga kamags, here is the latest news update brought to us by 95.9 Max News FM Jensen, courtesy of the Manila Times. The Philippine Health Insurance Corporation or PhilHealth has suspended the implementation of a memorandum that seeks to stop claims payments to hospitals being investigated for fraud. Under Memorandum Circular 2021-0013, the state health insurer can suspend the reimbursement of claims to healthcare facilities under investigation for fraudulent or unethical acts or abuse of authority. Hospital organizations such as the Philippine Hospital Hospital Association and the Private Hospitals Association of the Philippines denounced the circular as another way to delay the processing of claims. PhilHealth's Vice President for Corporate Affairs, Dr. Shirley Domingo, said the directive was issued after PhilHealth and the hospitals held talks brokered by Health Under Secretary Leopoldo Vega. Domingo believes some hospitals were misinformed about the context of the circular, saying only 28 healthcare providers have been suspended since it was first implemented in 2016 and they have not postponed any claim payment during the pandemic. Domingo on Sunday said that while the circular is suspended, the agency has to address growing cases of insurance fraud such as appeasing or claiming claims for a higher sickness than what has been diagnosed. She said that under Circular 2021-0013, the fraud must be consistent enough to warrant an investigation which will only focus on the type of claim being investigated. For example, if a hospital had issues with cataract claims, only the cataract claims will be suspended. And if a bigger issue like ghost patients is involved, then all claims will be put on hold, as she added. Domingo said PhilHealth has been consistent in paying the claims of healthcare providers and is already implemented a debit credit payment mechanism to pay 60% of the COVID-19 claims to member hospitals in areas where there is a surge in cases. She also said the Philippine Red Cross is being reimbursed for the swab test it has been administering on PhilHealth's behalf. And that's the latest news update this afternoon brought to us by Max Capsule, VY Max Coffee, and 95.9 Max News FM, General Santa City.